Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Panini Donruss Baseball. Four box, random team break number eight. One spot gets you three teams in this four box break. So let's triple you up. Thanks everybody for getting into the action. Two, three. And the teams. Let's, uh, that's not the dice roll that I did, right? That's at the 28 minute mark. Yeah, let's go back. New dice right here. There you go. That's the correct time, 24. Four and a four, hard eight. One. Keyboard, come on. Let's go, keyboard. We've got a lot of work to do here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. We've got Eric down to Rick. Eight the hard way for the teams. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. We got the Red Sox down to the Rockies. After eight. All right, here we go. Eric. You have the Red Sox, Jonathan with the Padres, Omar with the Brew Crew, Dylan with the Braves, Adam, you got my Dodgers, Eric with the Rangers, Rick with the Blue Jays, Jonathan with the Twins, Eric with the White Sox, Dylan with the Reds, Omar with the Phillies, Dylan with the Angels, Adam with the Yankees, Omar with the Pirates, Max with the Diamondbacks and Royals, Eric with the Giants, Roy with the Cubbies, Adam with the Marlins, Eric with the Rays, Omar with the Tigers, Jonathan with the Metropolitans, Omar with the Strohs, Roy with the M's, Max with the A's, Roy with the O's, Rick with the Nats, Omar with the Tribe, Eric with the Cards, and Rick T with the Rocks. Now let's get all this on one screen. Trades are allowed if you want. Trade at your own risk. While you're thinking about trades, let's pop this baby open here. Fresh case. Let's actually adjust the colors a little bit on the top camera there. It's a little too, too blue up there. Warm up the color a bit, brighten it up a little bit there too. All right, so a fresh case. Let's see what we got. It's kind of heavy. Another stack of four here. Let's make another stack of four here, like that. All right, so on the dice roll, let's select a die. Let's select that Viva Las Vegas die. And we'll go one, two, three, four. If I roll a five or a six, I'll roll again. But no, I won't, because we're going to do that first stack right here. These we will save for next time, whenever that may be. <laughs> Put it on Instagram. Nice. Yeah, check out Mojo Sports, everybody. They, they were in the store hanging out. Just, I think you can just search Mojo Sports on YouTube. They were, uh, and he was hanging out here just taking a look at our shop, previewing our shop a little bit. It's pretty nice. Hopefully he'll have everything edited up and looking nice. That's what he said. So look for look for our, that in-store feature. It's a pretty in-depth look too. Especially if you're uh, far away from the store and unable to uh, to visit anytime soon, you can watch the video that Mojo Sports is going to do for us and. Check out the inside of our store. Little interviews with Nick Jaspi and myself. He talked to the shipping team too, which was cool.
All right, so I don't think there's, yeah, no one's trading, so let's just, let's just keep going here. All right, TWC trade window closed. In the chat, there's the final printout right there for break number eight. Thanks and good luck. Yes, Jay Cohen. The store in LA, in Hermosa Beach, our 3,000 square foot store, is open to the public. We're open Monday through Saturday, Jay. Closed on Sundays, Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. local time. <laughs> Got the sounds of Tampa Bay in New York. Raise up 2 nothing in the top of the fourth. I feel like Yankees have been struggling a little bit. Absolutely, you should. Yeah, if you have the opportunity to, Jay, definitely stop by, poke your head, and say hello. Let's see what else we have tonight. Diamondbacks are in Washington. DC. They're at zeros in the bottom of the fifth. The Cardinals are in Philadelphia. Car uh, Phillies up 6 nothing on the Cardinals. Top of the sixth. We got the Indians in Cincinnati. And Cincinnati just dropped 7 in the bottom of the third. I think they're still batting too. So they're up 7-1 early. Top of the fifth. The Giants are in Miami. Giants up one nothing. Just started in in Texas, Orioles, Rangers, scoreless. Top of the second, Pirates, up one nothing on the Brewers. That's also early, top of the second. And I think most of you will be able to see this game on MLB Network. But a big game for Southern California out here. Dodgers at Padres, Tatis Jr. back off the IL. They're going to risk running, running him around that shoulder, huh? So that's your baseball. For the, for the evening. And I guess Mets Rockies postponed because of snow. Blue Jays Royals postponed because of weather. And White Sox Red Sox also snow. Miguel Tejada to 466. And I think it's only veteran commons that don't ship. Yeah, no vet commons ship. But a lot of these are like rated rookie cards or inserts and stuff like that, so most of it is going to ship. There's Tyler Glass now, piece of his jersey. There you go, nice one for Tampa Bay. That'll go to Eric. And just in the interest of time, so that's going to ship, right? But these are the common cards. These aren't going to ship. But that will ship. That's like an insert. There's Eugenio Suarez. Obviously, will ship. That's a numbered card. That, of course, will ship. Yes, I'm pretty sure Alec Baum is one of the, the rookies to chase in this set. For the Phillies. That's that's you, Omar. You've got Alec Baum. Is Aaron judged to to 2021? Sixto Sanchez. That's not. Is that the design of the card, or is that miscut? No, it looks like the design of the card. The rookies. To 349, that'll be for Miami, Adam. JT Real Muto. And we got we got a Jake Cronenworth. 
Nice. He's pretty solid. We'll see him in action tonight. Yeah, like I said, I think most of you will be able to see that on MLB Network, I think they were saying. Or were they saying that was a Sunday game? Either way, we'll, we'll have the local broadcast that you'll hear in the background a little bit later tonight. Jake Cronenworth for the Friars. Jonathan with the Padres. Here's the Hawk, Andre Dawson. So Omar will get this... Uh, We'll get this JT Real Muto as well. It's Anthony Rizzo to 2021. Christian Javier. Now, Jay saying Red scored each of those seven runs with no outs. Now they got now they got three outs, but that's crazy. All right, next little stack here. It's Casey Mize who had a really nice start last time out. It's Matt Olson to twenty twenty one. Matt Olson for Oakland. That'll be for Max and Casey Mize for Omar and the Tigers. There you go. It's Olms in the chat. We got this live stream thing right here. Ronald Acuna Jr. to nine ninety nine for the Braves. Dylan. And it's Tristan McKenzie for Cleveland. All right, Mountcastle's supposed to be pretty good. That's another numbered card there. So that will ship, Angels. That's for Dylan. Tony two bags. And the Mount Castle, Roy with the Mount Castle. Nice. He's supposed to be pretty good. Yeah, you know what? That Acuna was numbered. You see the fire emojis in the background. I like that. That goes to Dylan and the Braves. Zach Gallon to 2021. Jacob DeGrom right here to 999 having starts pushed back because of weather. Last two, three days. Roger Clemens to 2021. And Corey Seager autograph. Wow. Short and sweet auto. Three out of ten for my Dodgers. Adam with my boys in blue. They'll play, they're playing the Padres tonight. Could this be a start of a, a big rivalry? For years to come, it might be. Anyways, he's back in. Yeah, you know, the Padres definitely have a rivalry with the Dodgers. I don't think the Dodgers have a rivalry with the Padres, not yet anyway. There's Bo Bichette to 2021. Corey Seager, I feel like, has an outside chance of Rookie of the Year. There's Cody Bellinger. Hopefully he'll be back soon. Working on a, a foot thing, a calf thing. I think he got spiked by a player unintentionally. I forget what game that was. It was like a week or so ago. I think he got spiked by a player. So he's been trying to recover from that. Charlie Blackman for the Rockies. Jose Ramirez. I think these Statue of Liberty cards are, are one per box. It's a little bit shorter printed. Cody Bellinger keeping it 100. And I do like these unleashed cards right here. I look at these ferocious animals in the background. Giancarlo Stanton unleashed. 
He did. You. you he did get Spike. I'm pretty. Yeah, that's what it was. That's what it was. So thankfully, it wasn't like a. I don't know. That was like a non-contact injury. It would have been would have been worse. So hopefully, he'll recover from that. All right, box two. How are my picks doing today? I'm on Arizona. They're scoreless. I'm on St. Louis. They're down six runs. I'm on Miami. They're tied at one. I'm on Cincinnati. They're, they just scored seven runs. I'm on KC. I think that game has been postponed. I'm on Houston. That game's happening later. And there was some value in taking the Padres against my Dodgers at plus 139. I don't mind uh, betting against my team, just so if they lose, at least I'm making money off of them. <laughs> right? Yeah. I'll, I'll bet on, uh, and especially since the Dodgers are never going to be underdogs, they're always going to be like minus 180 or something crazy like that. You'll never find value there, at least in baseball. So why not go against them? And if they win, you don't mind losing the money. And if they lose, you're mad, but at least you're making money. Win-win <laughs> situation. pitching in that Dodgers game tonight. Ooh, I think it's Walker Bueller and Ryan Weathers. I think some of you may have accumulated some Ryan Weathers cards in some uh, in some Bowman product not too long ago. So you might want to double check your collection and see what you got. Next box, here we go. Got Nick Madrigal here and Alex Kirlov autograph. It's supposed to be pretty good. That goes to the twins. That's gonna be for Jonathan. Oh, and then Bueller uh, Bauer tomorrow. Jay Cohen saying. And then who's who's on for a Sunday? Salvador Perez is 75. There's Alec Baum right there, rated rookie card for Omar and the Phillies. Rookie of the Year finalist last year. Kershaw to 2021. Kershaw? Oh, Bueller, Kershaw, and Bauer this weekend. Sorry, I missed the Kershaw part. Bueller, Kershaw, and Bauer this weekend. It's a pretty good... It's a pretty good rotation right there. There's Lourdes Gurriel. Joe Adele for Los Angeles. For the Angels, that is. It'll be Dylan of the California Anaheim Angels of Orange County. Jesus Lazardo. Joe 
Joey Bart, Corbin Burns, Joey Bart again. Joey Bart could be future Buster Posey. That's what they're hoping for. So all of those are going to go to the Giants. That'll be for Eric Houston and my rivals. What's going on with the Yankees? A lot of batting averages at 200. John Carlos Sam's batting only 171. Sammy Sosa. And we got Nolan Arenado unleashed. This is still Rockies edition to 999. Hyunjin Ryu to 2021. And Luis Gonzalez is your next autograph. As for the White Sox, it's going to go to Eric C. And Jay saying for the Yankees, other, other than Garrett Cole, the pitching has been iffy too. What's going on? It's Bobby Dalbeck, Verdugo has been hitting well lately. Sixto Sanchez for the Marlins. And a set like this, folks, it's these parallel, the rated rookie cards, the parallels, the possible gradable cards that are that are the really that are sometimes can be more valuable than some of the autographs that we pull. Vlad Guerrero Jr. And it's another Sixto Sanchez. Different parallel from the one we saw earlier to 999. Bo Jackson to 2021. And this is the next hit yeah there's Gio Urshelly got a bit of the Yankee pinstripe right there Adam Tipton with the Yankees Vander Bogarts to 2021 Dylan Carlson for the Cardinals Eric Houston Austin Meadows to 19 for Tampa. Eric, Eric C with that. Luke Voigt. And a Joe Adele for the Angels, nice. 1365 out of 2021. Dylan. With the Halos. All right, next couple boxes here. Box. 
Is it too early to overreact? It's never too early to overreact, right? The Red Sox are 9-1 and one in their last 10 games. Overreact? World Series for them? That, the pitching, that starting Patriots pitching is, is going to catch up with them. Red Sox are looking good, dude. Remind them, everybody, to set their rosters because Monday they play 8 a.m. Pacific. Monday they play super early if you have Red Sox fantasy players on Monday. Oh, is that where they're wearing the those new uniforms? They have those like cool blue and almost like UCLA Bruin colors. They have those blue and, blue and yellow uniforms. But yeah, they only just lost yesterday, but yeah, nine and one in their last ten. And they had one seven straight at one point, right? Also Alex Verdugo's looking pretty good. They're, that starting pitching is going to catch up with them at some point. But they've been hitting really well. Hey, believe it or not, you know who's first in the AL Central? The Kansas City Royals. Royals got it. They've got a young team. They could surprise some people. I guess you would. You would think that the. The Twins would be running away with this division, but they're just under 500, 67. Yeah, yeah, J.D. Martinez looks like he can still hit, too. Seattle, I like that. Seattle's 8-5. and five. They're looking good. They've got a young team that could... And youngsters in the pipeline, too, that could come up. Looks pretty good. Angels are 7-5. and five. Otani MVP, maybe? Oh, they're, they're still that Trout guy. Oh, Otani and Trout combined for 17 of, of the, like, 24 teams' extra base hit. So they're doing the work. That's what I just saw in the MLB ticker. We've got Domingo Ayala. This is kind of a cool insert here. I don't think... I don't think I've seen that. Oh, you know what? I think this this might be... Yeah, that gets randomized to someone in the break. It's Cabrian Hayes. There's Chef G right there for the Yankees. No one calls him Chef G, do they? Do they, <laughs> do they call him Chef G? Is, it Kyle Lewis? Is Kyle Lewis killing it? Rookie of the Year last year. Cabrian Hayes for the Pirates, Omar. This kid's supposed to be really good, too. Yeah, Bud Selig, San Diego Chicken, and Domingo Ayala cards are randomized at the end of the break. We'll randomize them as one lot. I'll set that right there. Byron Buxton to 50. There's Luke Voigt to 999. Who, Cabron? Yeah, he got hurt. He, he hit like a home run opening day. And then like a day or two later, I think he got, he got hit with a pitch in the wrist or something. Something like that. Nice Dylan Carlson signature series. Autograph for St. Louis. That'll be for Eric H. Nice. Breaking news. Cody Bellinger has a hairline fracture in his left leg. There is no timetable announced for his return. No, Holmes. I think Holmes has him in his fantasy team. I have him in my reality team. Oh, no. No, that's okay. We have Zach McKinstry. More Zach McKinstry. That's how deep the Dodgers are. Rod Carew to 2021.
Jazz Chisholm, Joey Votto to 2021. I don't know what what happens with hairline fractures. I mean, the, the, that's not like a cast situation, right? I mean, he was walking around. Is that something that you just sit around and heal? I'm no doctor. Any doctors? There's Alex Kirilov and Mike Trout. To 390, it looks like. All right, you just rest that and it and it just has to heal on its own. Bryce Harbor. Leary Tavares and Trevor Rogers is your autograph for Adam and the Marlins. 47 out of 99 on that one. Nice. Spare ball. Carlos Correa to 2021. Kevin Gossman to 2021. It's for the Giants. That'll be for Eric H. Julio Urias. To 9.99, and Alec Baum Blue parallel for the Phillies, and Will Myers is your relic. Got a bit of that powder blue there for Jonathan and the Padres, the Friars. the Bay, Babe Ruth. To 500. Career 506 doubles. That's a pretty good one for the Yankees. Oh, Urshela, come on. You keep your eyes on the ball, Urshela. Oh, now the ball gets past the catcher. It's into the backstop. Oh, boy. Raise up 4 nothing. Thomas, our resident Yankees fan, just can't, can't believe it. There you go. Bring this guy back. Bring Babe Ruth back as a pitcher. Oh, that's kind of a, that's kind of a, come on, Urshel. Enough of that Ole BS. Ah, oh, Thomas, this is just poor form. His feet were steady, and his 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 he was backhanding the ball. He didn't get in front of it. Doesn't get in front of it. Yeah. Put Thomas out there. Yeah, get get out there with Jaspi's arm sleeve. I mean, I don't I don't know if you're gonna hit in I mean, I don't you're gonna hit in the majors, Thomas, but but I can I, I you can catch a ball. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Final box. And then, I don't know what's next, but the schedule says, so check the schedule so you can find your break. If your break's sold out and not on the schedule, that means I just have to go through more orders, or it probably needs a filler. You can scroll down on the break schedule for filler information. Also, here's some other resources on that break schedule link. Not only is there the schedule, the list of fillers, click the shipping tab. That'll tell you when your stuff is gonna ship. So if you were in a break a few days ago and you're like, hey, what's going on? What's the status? You can see what the status of your shipping 
of your order is. From sorting through sorted, through shipping to shipped. Those are like the four main steps in the life of a group break. So that break schedule that's always pinned in the chat and frequently dropped in the chat by Nightbot is a very important resource. You can even bookmark those links to your phone browser, to your computer browser, and keep that handy at all times. There's some non-important things there too, like my picks for entertainment purposes only. We'll double check on those picks after I finish this break. Any other standing surprises? No, Mets aren't playing very many games because of the weather. Phillies are the NL East just seems a little unimpressive right now. Five and three for the Mets, six and six for the Phillies, six and eight for the Braves. I thought the Braves would be a lot better out of the gate. Miami's five and seven, Washington's three and seven. In the NL Central, Reds seven and five, Milwaukee seven and five. Cub, Cub, kind of rough for the Cubs. Rough going for the Cubs lately. Dodgers, 11, 11 game winners. They've only lost two games. Look at this. San Francisco's been surprising. They won eight games. Just hit that support button, Ryan. The support button for all support related questions on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I think the team is gone for the day, but they'll probably get to that at some point tomorrow. There's David Ortiz to 400. And here's a solid youngster right here, Nick Madrigal. The White Sox have a good good young core right there. There's Eric C. and the Chicago White Sox. <laughs> yeah, right. Now, that's easy. I can see someone missing that button on the bottom left-hand corner, kind of hidden away. Casey Mize, Paul Molitor, 2021. And there's Bigfoot right here. Brian Reynolds. It's Paul Molitor. Casey Mize, number one overall pick. Had a really nice start last week, or last start. Sam Huff, Dale Murphy to 2021. There's Cody Bellinger. Just heard the bad news about him. Get well soon, Cody. And for the Marlins, Adam, look at this. Jazz Chisholm. Oh, I thought it was going to be an autograph. Why would they... Why would they do that? Just, I'm just a face, right? That's it. A 5.34 slugging percentage for Slime and Sammy Sosa. Pretty nice. Cubs, that'll be for Roy. So there's trending Luis Robert to 249 and Trevor Bauer. Why are these cards flipped around? Trying to, definitely Panini's trolling me here, making me think there's autographs in this spot. Alex Kirilov and La Pantera right here for the White Sox. Do they, do they really call him that, La Pantera? Huh. La Pantera. Juan Soto to $9.99. Christian Javier, is this an auto? No, it's not. Not an autograph. Flipped around, not an auto. Luis Patino, Josh Bell. Oh, poor, this, this Sessa kid, they're just, laying, they're just leaving him out there to die, Thomas. 
He's got the bases loaded. Now someone's warming up. There's Nelson Cruz, the 75. Nick Madrigal, Randy Arzarena, who's up to bat right now. And, no. Three and two the count. Bases loaded, top of the fifth. Big Randy Arzarena looking to blow this game wide open. If not, Brandon Lau, it's only one out, so if not, Brandon Lau. Oh man, Arrows are ready to swing for the fences. Fouls it off. There's Max Meyer, 99, one of their top picks for the Marlins. That's going to go to Adam and Griffey Jr. See you, John. Oh, this might be two. Oh, they throw it away. What's, what's this terrible defense, no Thomas? Way. That was an easy double play ball. Whoever the second baseman was, number 42. They're all 42 today. <laughs> <laughs> number 42. No way, just throwing it wide of the first baseman. Sessa's pissed. Sessa's just like, I could have been out of this GD inning. Just throwing, the ball around. Just throwing it around. Oh, yeah, just throws it wide. Did you hear that? Dunk. <laughs> right right off the infield wall. That's, that's yeah, dunk. <laughs> that was that was the ball ricocheting off the infield wall when it skipped past DJ LeMahieu. Odor. Made the error. Yeah, old Rugnid. There's Jose Abreu relic. The MVP going to Eric C. There's Gigante, 2021. That's what they call Altuve. All right, there's the autograph. Signature Series, Rafael Marchand. Catcher for the Philadelphia Phillies, Omar. With the Phils, the fighting Phils. See you, man. That's Javier Baez to 479. Jonathan Papelbon right here to 2021. And there's Mo Mario Rivera right there as well. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was four box, random team break number eight of 2021 Panini Donruss Baseball. We got that card uh, to randomize to one person in the break. There's any other non... It's going to be... Here, let's flip back to the screen. It's going to be Bud Selig, San Diego Chicken. If I miss any of those, those will also go to one person in this break. So let's get everyone's names from Max and the Diamondbacks and Rick and the Nationals. There's some new dice. There's a new list. Good luck. Name on top gets a little consolation prize there, a little extra prize. After four and six, ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And good luck. Tenth and final time. It's going to be for Jonathan. There you go, Jonathan. After ten times, that card and uh, San Diego Chicken, if, if any, and the Bud Selig, if any, will also go to you as well. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.